This is the Dapson DBS 2300 Plus Portable Power Station. A plug and play power solution for home and outdoors. This power station gives you a power supply of 2200 watts and 2330 watt hours, which can be extended to up to 16.66 kilowatt hours with the add on expandable batteries making it an excellent candidate for your camping, RV, home backup, and emergency power. In this review, we'll be taking a look at the DBS 2300 Plus Portable Power Station along with the DBS 3000B expandable battery and the 200 watt solar panels. We'll take a look at the specs and features, as well as put the whole system to the test in real life scenarios. Welcome back to Space Age Tech, where we look at the tech that pushes the limits. Let's unbox the main unit first. This is the DBS 2300. This is quite a compact unit at 17 inches by 10 by 12, and it's about 58 pounds, which is lighter than most of the other ones we have seen so far. The small box at the top contains our connector cables. We'll go through those in just a minute. And of course, we have our trusty user manual and warning card. This power station uses lithium iron phosphate technology to bring your reliability and long life. The unit itself is very robust, definitely feels sturdy, and each of the ports is reinforced, protecting them against wear and tear. We do also have this very nice large LCD display that allows us to view and control all features. This power station also has a companion app, which will be connected to either Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. The unit comes with a 24 month plus 24 month extended warranty option by registering your device for a total of four years warranty. The unit comes with a life expectancy of about 4,000 charge cycles, at which point the total capacity is reduced to 80% and it has an overall estimated 15 years of use. For our charging cables, this unit comes with an AC charging cable to connect it directly into a wall outlet. We also have a solar charging cable, MC4, to charge it using our solar panels. We'll see that later in the video. And finally, we have a car charging cable. And here's our DVS 2300 unit. Now let's unbox our DBS 3000B expandable battery. Each of these units increase the capacity of your 2300 plus with an extra 3000 watt hours. It's stackable on top of the DBS 2300 so it saves space. It's easy to use, uh, you just connect the main unit to the extra battery with the cable included. This battery weighs 55 pounds. The unit can be charged directly with the solar panels with a max charging power of 600 watts. It can also be charged with a car outlet or by charging it from the main unit, the DBS 2300. For our connector cables, we have the extra battery cable which connects the DBS 3000B to the main unit we also have a solar charging cable, which is used to connect the solar panels directly to our expandable battery. It also comes with the same warranty options as our DBS 2300. And we also have a trusty user manual. Finally, let's unbox our 200 watt solar panel. This is the DBS 200S portable solar panel. This panel uses monocrystalline silicon solar cells, which allow it to obtain a 23.4 solar cell efficiency. 
and it's actually compatible with most solar generators with an MC4 connector. It also has an IP65 dust and water resistance. It comes in this nice carry bag which includes a cable pouch and adjustable angle feet to position your solar panel in the optimal position to generate the most energy. Again, we have our user manual and connector cables. It's pretty small folded at about 22 by 22 by 2.5 inches thick and unfolded it expands to 22 inches by 96 inches by 0.2 inches. And here's our final setup. We have the DBS 2300 Plus, the DBS 3000B expandable battery, and the DBS 200S 200 watt solar panel. We're ready to start testing. The first thing we'll do is connect our solar panel to the power station. As you can see from the LCD display on the power station, we're getting around 130 watts charge during this time. We are only using a 200 watt panel, but this power station can receive an input of up to 800 watts. With solar panels at 800 watt input, it would take about 3 hours to charge from zero to full. We also have an option of dual charging, meaning we can combine both AC charging and solar panels to charge our power station from zero to full in about an hour. This is without the DBS 3000 expandable battery, but with the battery dual charging with the 800 watt solar panel and AC charging, it would take about two hours to charge the whole system from zero to full. But we're not limited to AC and solar. We can also charge it using our car or power generators. Now let's charge our extra battery with the solar panels. The DBS 3000B supports charging directly through solar panels at the maximum rate of 600 watts. This means that we do not have to be attached to the power station for solar charging. Here we have it connected to our 200 watt solar panel. If we wanted to take full advantage of the standalone charging capability, we could connect two additional 200 watt panels together for a total of 600 watts. These would then all be connected to the DBS 3000B through the MC4 cable. Actual input rate depends on a few factors. At this point in the day, we are getting an input of 85 watts. Let's get cooking. First, we'll make some burgers in an electric grill. At its peak, the grill takes about 1,760 watts, which is pretty substantial. At this time, we did continue to leave our solar panels plugged in as well. So you can see both the power input and the output. We actually have 14 output ports. We have three USB-A ports, including one that's 18 watts and two that are 12 watts, four USB-C ports that are 100 watts, 30 watts, and two that are 60 watts. We have one car power output, one Anderson output, and a DC 5521 output. We also have four AC outputs, one of which we are using here. And finally, we have a LED light with three settings, dim, light and SOS mode so you won't get stranded in your outdoor adventures. And we can use them all at the same time, granted they do not exceed the 2200 watt maximum. And here's our burger. We've added some cheese, we got our buns ready, and we are all set. The buns are a little toasty, but I can assure you it was delicious. So, are you up for dessert? Let's make my favorite, ice cream. I won't reveal any secrets, but this is a berry ice cream. At its peak, this ice cream maker takes about 800 watts. We're seeing here that it's taking about 500 watts currently, and at this rate, we'd be able to make many, many batches. We'd actually be able to use it for over four hours. And we're all set, cheers. So what else can we power? Let's get back inside and find out. 
with 14 output ports, this covers 99% of anything you might need in an emergency or outdoors situation. You can use them all, granted that you don't exceed the total capacity of 2200 watts. During our testing of the electric grill and the ice cream maker, we didn't even get close. If we were to overload the machine, the safety features will kick in. The unit has built-in protection for over voltage, over temperature, low temperature, over current, over load, short circuit protection, and low voltage protection that are all built into the machine. There's a few precautions you can also take to keep safe. This unit cannot be placed near a heat source such as a fire or heating furnace. This is for a variety of reasons, but most obviously, the battery needs an optimal temperature to function effectively, and it does have fans and other mechanisms to keep it cool. It has a recommended optimal operating temperature of 68 degrees Fahrenheit to 86 Fahrenheit. At this range, your power station will perform its very best. However, it can definitely operate in a wider temperature range. Discharge temperature is a little flexible with 14 degrees Fahrenheit to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. For charging temperature, it's also more flexible at 32 degrees Fahrenheit to 113 degrees Fahrenheit, meaning to say you should keep it in a cool, ventilated place as much as possible. Also, take note that this unit is not waterproof, so it cannot be immersed in water or get wet. Here you can plainly see our 14 output powers. First, you have our USB-A and USB-C ports. Then we have our car power output, our Anderson output, and our DC5521 output. And as mentioned, here's our LED light with our three settings, dim, light, and SOS mode. On the side, you can see our AC outputs, and behind this lid, we can see our charging input option. For inputs, we have our AC charging input as well as our solar panel input. We also have our AC speed switch, which we will see in action in just a moment. Let's connect our unit to AC. By default, the max input power for AC charging speed is 600 watts. However, this model comes with a fast charging option offering 1800 watts of max input power. You can control the charging power through the AC charge speed switch we see here. The fast charging feature is only available for AC charging and allows you to charge the DBS2300 from 0 to 80% in about 45 minutes. At this point, we are unsure how fast charging could affect the life of the unit itself. To charge the DBS3000B expandable battery through AC, we need to have it connected to the power station as you can see here. The power station will then charge itself and the expandable battery accordingly. Let's take a closer look at the DBS3000B. As mentioned before, this is an expandable battery to be used with the DBS2300. It does not have outputs, rather it feeds the power to the DBS2300. It also has a life expectancy of about 15 years and it's designed to retain 80% capacity after 4,500 charge cycles. It can charge independently through solar inputs and take up to 1200 watts by using two 600 watt panels. It also has a large LCD display that shows you the input and output power, remaining battery life, and other warning and safety features such as overload warnings or high temperature warnings. As mentioned, all you have to do to connect the units together is use the cable provided and press the on button, simple as that. You can have multiple expandable batteries for your DBS2300 to extend its battery life. 
here is our full system at work. You can see we plugged in some electronics to see if it would keep us connected and entertained in case of an outage. We have two laptops, two phones, and a tablet connected for a total output of 77 watts, which is pretty much a piece of cake for this device. Additionally, we do have it charging here at a standard rate of 600 watts. In case of emergency, this system does support emergency power supply. This means that while the unit is connected to AC power, it can be connected to a device and if there's an AC power outage, the power station will take over in 15 milliseconds to power the device directly. This can be important for people with critical medical devices as well. We found this system to be overall very well built, easy to set up, connect, and enjoy. We were also impressed with the fast charging capabilities. Overall, this would be a great option for anyone looking for home power backup, RV and outdoor scenarios, and even emergency situations. What did you think? Let us know in the comments. We'll be reviewing more of this and other awesome technology. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps our channel grow.